Finally, Techno Pova 6 Pro is here. Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's been 6 months since last nating nakita or ni launch ng Techno yung kanilang Techno Pova 5 Pro. And considering budget to mid-range devices, halos every 6 months talaga sila mag-upgrade. And nagbilang ako from September of 2023 up to now, Oo nga, 6 months talaga yung pagitan nila. So the moment that you guys are watching this video, officially launched na globally yung kanilang Techno Pova series. But in the Philippines, it will be available from what I know next month. And to set your expectations, wala akong idea when it comes to its pricing now. Pero kung maaalala nyo yung Techno Pova 5 Pro last year, that was 10,999 pesos. So... I am guessing hindi masyadong nalalayo yung presyo ng 6 Pro ngayon. Anyway, this is how the packaging looks like. And here is what it looks like at the back. It's literally the size of the phone. Kumbaga, life-size image. Ito yung comparison. Saktong sakto. And of course, yung list of specs sheet niya nandito rin naman sa gilid. Kung naaalala niyo pa yung itsura ng Techno Pova 5 Pro, hindi naman din masyadong katagalan yun. Papakita ko na lang dito. Medyo geared towards gaming yung design nun. And now... Kung makikita nyo, mas mukhang gaming phone na siya. Mamaya ipapakita ko sa inyo yung features niya kung bakit din siya medyo may pagka-transparent. Siyempre, pag inalis na natin yung sleeve niya, ito na siya. Color green yung ating box kasi color green din yung phone na meron ako. So yes, this is the comment green. Yung isa naman is the meteorite gray. Which is a very galaxy-inspired naming. The case looks like this. Transparent siya and merong green na detail on it. Frame. Hindi mawawala yung paperwork and may sticker set din nakasama. The 70 watts techno fast charging power brick. And of course, earphones na may 3.5mm headphone jack and ang ating USB-C cable. Alam ko mataas ang expectations natin with the brand Techno Now. Especially, number one sila ngayon. Actually, hindi Techno but the whole tension group consisting of, of course, yung Techno nga, Infinix, and of course, Itel. Which also affects yung willingness nyo sa pagbili ng isang phone. But I will always remind you, hindi porket number one, number two, number three, ay magiging basis nyo na ito when it comes to buying your next smartphone. Hindi rin porket may lumabas na bago, after six months ay dapat na kayong mag-upgrade. I also have here yung Farlight 84 Special Edition Limited Co-Brand Box. Pero yung magiging available sa Philippines, guys, is yung Farlight 84 Special Edition, which is yung box na nakita nyo kanina. But, magstay kayo until the very end of this video dahil may malaki akong surpresa sa inyo. According to the brand, Dynamic Eye Design yung tawag sa itsura niya sa likod. May up to 9 different modes with 101 different user-defined effects na pwede kayong i-personalize sa kanya for calls, messages, power status, music, file transfers, gaming, and more. And to do this, all you need to do is go to settings, hanapin nyo lang yung dynamic light effect button, and i-turn on nyo yung dynamic light effect. From here, pwedeng pwede nyo na siyang i-customize on your own. Actually, yung design ng Pova 6 Pro ngayon, hindi gaanong nalalayo doon sa Pova 5 Pro na ni-review natin. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, may nakalagay na 6,000 mAh sa lower right corner ng device. Which is mas malaki ng 1,000 doon sa kanyang predecessor. And considering na 6,000 mAh na yung battery nitong phone na to, nagulat ako na kaya pala ma-achieve yung ganito kanipis na phone. By the way, hindi rin nawala yung headphone jack sa kanya which is good especially for gaming and media purposes. And of course, meron din siyang stereo speaker setup. To me, undoubtedly, yung design niya is one of its standout features which gives a futuristic feel kahit na again, nasa budget lineup siya. And as usual, since bagong dating lang yung device sa studio, hindi ganun katagal yung experience ko pa to do a battery test. But according to the brand, up to 11 plus hours of gaming, 14 plus hours of video streaming, and up to 31 
plus hours of calling yung kayang ibigay sa atin nung mas malaking battery capacity niya. It is also now capable of up to 70 watts ultra charge. Mas mabilis din doon sa kanyang predecessor. Etong charging test na gawa namin, it was able to charge the device from empty to 100% in just 51 minutes. Which is not too far from what the brand promised na 48 minutes. Now in terms of its chipset, actually yun pa din. The same gaming chipset that we saw from the Techno Pova 5 Pro. It's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 6T85G which is again based on 6 nanometer processor. But yung device na nire-review ko ngayon guys has a 12 gig of RAM and 256 gig of storage configuration. Which is kung compare natin from last year na nireview kong device, 8 gig of RAM lang yon. Unang-una kong napansin, which is kind of what I expected na rin, it comes with pre-installed applications. Like for example, meron siyang dalawang gallery applications katulad ng AI Gallery and Google Photos. Also, applications like Safety, T-Spot, WeLife, and more. And surprisingly, most of these applications, guys, ay hindi pwedeng i-uninstall except yung mga Snapchat, and Spotify. So, kung hindi nagbago yung chipset niya, nagbago naman yung visual experience. Bukod sa 120Hz refresh rate configuration that they maintained, it now has a full HD plus AMOLED display. Mas maganda yung saturation niya ngayon, contrast is also really good. At syempre, ang importante sa akin dito, nag-improve din yung kanyang peak brightness, which means wala na ako masyado magiging issues when it comes to using this device outdoors. And since AMOLED na ngayong display natin guys, meron na tayo ngayong end display fingerprint sensor which is to me is fast and responsive naman as per my testing. And isa rin sa napansin ko sa phone na to, numipis na yung side vessels niya to 1.3 mm which adds up to a 3.68% improvement sa kanyang overall screen to body ratio. Also, according to the brand, ito hindi na to bago sa industry pero it's worth noting na itong Tecno Pova 6 Pro also has a 2160Hz PWM dimming. Siyempre, bago natin i-end yung first impressions and of course, first look ng Tecno Pova 6 Pro, pag-usapan natin very quickly yung kanyang camera. The main camera improved from 50 megapixels. We now have a 108 megapixels. It also comes with a 2 megapixels depth sensor and an AI camera with a dual tone LED flash. And of course, let's not forget the 32 megapixels main front camera. Okay, so upon opening the application, medyo may bago ng konti sa user interface niya. Meron tayong 108 megapixel button or option sa kanyang pinakaibabaw from which we can also use the 3 times zoom. Actually, up to 10 times digitally tayo pwedeng makapag-zoom sa kanya even when taking videos. But according to the brand, this 10 times is a lossless zoom which is a specific camera feature na most camera brands also use sa mga mid-range to budget phones that is quite similar to having a telephoto lens. video resolution. Actually guys, we are getting the same capability which is up to 2K at 30fps and that goes the same with its front camera. To be honest, sobrang nakukulangan ako sa versatility ng cameras niya considering na missing in action yung ultra wide natin. Though I noticed dinagdagan nila ng isang AI camera na wala doon sa Tecno Pova 5 Pro last year Pero kasi hindi ganun ka useful yung ganitong camera. It's for the sake of having more cameras na hindi naman again necessary talaga for everyday. 
Okay, so alam naman natin lahat kung gaano ka-crowded ang budget segment dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. And alam naman natin lahat na pag ganitong presyohan, yung software experience may not be everyone's liking. Pero uulitin ko guys, lagi nating i-level yung expectation natin sa presyo ng phone na binibili natin. Alam ko may mga phone na hindi lang tayo yung target market, pero hindi maiiwasan na may mga phone talaga na kahit anong gawin natin, kahit anong pilit natin ay hindi sulit. And I don't think yun ang magiging problema natin dito sa bagong Puva 6 Pro. Display is actually impressive. Battery life, I don't think magkakaproblema kayo sa kanya. It has really good set of speakers. Camera-wise, okay naman siya. Yun nga lang, I don't know yet kung matutuwa yung mga gamers natin dyan since wala masyadong nagbago sa chipset niya. Price na lang talaga yung inaantay ko ngayon guys. Kung hindi nagbago yung presyo ng Puva 6 Pro from the Puva 5 Pro, Sa tingin ko, magiging um, bestseller na naman to ng brand. And will be really hard for other brands then na makasabay dahil ang ganda ng um, list of specifications nitong bagong phone ng Tecno. So yes, that's pretty much it guys. Papunta na akong MWC in Barcelona to attend, of course, the launch of the Tecno Pova 6 series. And I'll let you guys know yung official pricing niya sa comment section. And of course, for the surprise, ang tagal kasi ng huling giveaway natin. And since dumating na yung birthday ko, and every birthday ko guys, as much as possible, meron akong regalo sa inyo. Get a chance to win this limited edition co-brand box na Far Light 84 Special Edition na again, hindi available sa market. So, kung sino man ang manalo ng giveaway prize na to, napakaswerte kasi bukod sa pagkakaroon ng bagong Puva 6 Pro, may makukuha ka pang power bank, mouse pad, and even a tote bag. Anyway, for you to win, it's very basic, easy, just just share this YouTube video on Facebook with the hashtag Technopova6 Pro X Mary. Para madali tayong makapili doon sa mga mag-share. And of course, wag kalimutan i-follow yung mga social media accounts ko. Again, it's your Tech Girl Mary. And see you on our next video. And good luck. Bye!